Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video we're going to be checking out a whole bunch of creations and we're going to be hauling some coal from the north terminal over to one of the north or the east uh, islands here in Stormworks. Now we're going to be looking at these creations. Now some of them I had a look at them already and some of them are brand new to me and they look absolutely incredible some of these creations now we're going to be using the enhanced resource training that we had a look at in the top five this is adds uh, some buildings and some just a better feel to the whole coal mechanics here in stormworks in terms of resource now we also have some hoppers we're going to be loading up and we've got a beautiful steam locomotive that i found over on the workshop uh Along with that, we've also got a little bit of a uh, transporter, so we can actually head up to the mine if we need to, uh, to get some more coal, just in case, and then we could bring it and we could dump it over here uh, using our little truck. It's actually got a little bit of a flatbed at the back, so let me show you guys what, how this one works. So at the back, you'll load the coal through the hoppers there, and you can actually raise this part up, and it drops it at the back. It's so cool. Uh, really, really cool design on that one. Uh, okay. So we actually don't need this right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by getting the steam locomotive up and running. And then we can start after that is start loading our coal into the hoppers. Now we should be able to start loading the first one. So I'm actually going to head over there right now. And while we get our steam train going, we'll start loading. So let's just head over here. Uh, let's do the funnel. Now, if we were in career mode, we would have to pay for this, but because we're not, we don't have to. So I'm going to do two plus. So that should start loading it quite quickly. And we're going to head to this locomotive. Now, this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. The crate has done a fantastic job with this. Open up the front here. Beautiful. Just nice and clean. Oh, man, so good. All we need now is the devs to add some new wheels for us or some new bogies. Okay, so we're going to jump inside. Now, if I'm correct, this one is manual loading. So you actually have to load the coal from that into the firebox, uh, similar to my examples, which is pretty cool. So you can see we get that. We can load, 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 and we can just keep on loading. That's all manual. We should be enough with that much there. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, so we've got a ignite, steam valve, heat control, regulator, brakes. We'll get the brakes on. Regulator will be forwards and backwards. Heat control, how much heat goes from the firebox, I'm guessing, to the boiler. Uh, and we've also got the steam valve. So we'll get those things open up just now. Everything else looks good. Heat control, let's set that to like 0.3. Reverser, water intake, emergency release, lights. We've got 175 in the moment. Now, I think we can load extra water. Yeah, we can at the back. And the cool thing about the enhanced resource training is you'll see there is actually some area here for us to grab some more water or fluid if we need to. Cool. So this thing is still... Looks like it's still loading up with coal. That's almost about there, I'd say. I don't have any way to tell. Now, these hoppers are also really nice. Uh, okay, I think we're at the, yeah, I think we've got too much in there now, so let's turn these off. These are also cool because they have like little chutes here on the side that go from here down through the chutes, which is nice. they got buttons over here that you can toggle once they're connected in a line. I will be leaving links, by the way, to all these creations in the video description, so if you want to check them out, definitely go and do that. Some of these things look really cool. Okay, so first hopper's loaded. Our steam locomotive is currently starting up, so let's see what's going on in here. So, firebox temp is 100. Boiler temp is 23, so let's open up our heat for the boiler. That should mean start actually producing some steam and some pressure. You can see that's going up now. Now, we can keep an eye on our pressure. We don't want that to go over 9 or 10, 30, 10 is the explosion. Uh, so I'm going to keep an eye on my heat control here. I'm also going to get my steam valve open. And now that way, I hopefully, I can control this temperature and we'll regulate this together. And hopefully also not lose too much steam. Don't want to lose too much steam. Okay, cool. So that's going, that temperature is going up. This thing looks so cool. You can see out. Is there a horn? I'm sure there was a horn somewhere. That you could pull. Lights, pressure, release. Their horn on the side? No, maybe not. 
Maybe there's no horn. That's disappointing. I would love to see. I'd love to see something. Oh, it looks so cool. Really, really nice. Okay, let's see what else we have. So we jump back inside using the seat here. And let's go up and into that seat. I'm guessing this is the main control seat, whereas this is like a passenger one. Uh, temperature's going up, which is good. Pressure is still zero. We slowly bring that temperature up using this heat control. We could have bring it higher if we wanted to. So if you put it back to one, you would see that temperature goes way up much quicker uh, because our actual firebox is at a much higher temp. So you can see that's going up now. Let's just bring that back down to like 0.4. I think it's good. Remember, every time we release pressure using the emergency valve, we're losing fluid in our system, which means we're in the future, we can't get that much more pressure again. Uh, so we need to get more fluid. So we just need to keep an eye on that stuff. Okay, so you can see the temperature's not going up, so heat control is actually working really well. So let's get our temp up. Cool. Once we get up to 100, we'll start producing some pressure. Yep, there we go. Let's get this back down now to like 0.7. Don't want our pressure to go too high. Cool, and I guess we can start moving at the same time. So let's get our regulator, let's get our brakes off. You can see we are definitely moving. Get our temp down a bit. That looks perfect for temp there. Pressure is still going up. We are moving forwards. Look at that. We're going really quick actually. We don't have any load on, so it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna head off here. Ah, that looks beautiful. Head off, we'll go through the different tracks and then we'll do reverse and we'll go pick up those hoppers. Now pressure is still going up, which is fine. Temperature is more or less fine still. I'm actually pretty happy with all of that at the moment. We can probably start slowing down in a few seconds because we're going to start reversing. So let's get our regulator down. Pressure is still building. Let me get our temperature down a bit here. Okay, we're going past the last track here and we can probably get our brakes on. Reverse are on, keep an eye on the pressure. Regulator brakes. Let's go in reverse now. Okay, we should be going backwards now. We are perfect. Look at that. So cool. And you can see the little steam coming out there too. Oh, that's nice. So cool. Uh, what's our pressure? Yeah, pressure is at four. We're losing a bit of pressure, but that's fine because my temperature is quite low, as you can see here. We'll get up a little bit. I'm not too worried about our pressure at the moment because we're just shunting. But once we actually start moving, we need to keep an eye on that. Cool, I'm just dropping my regulator speed down ever so slightly. Brakes are at zero. That's perfect. Pressure is absolutely perfect now. I'm happy with that. You can see our temperature is also dropping, so we could probably get more temperature on that if we wanted to. Keep an eye on our coal. Coal's actually at three, so that is a problem. We have to do quite a few things at the same time here, so we're going to get some more coal and get that loaded in. Don't want to run out of any coal here. Uh, we should be going quite nice and slowly, so I'll get a regulator off. And then, oh yeah, we've actually got plenty of space still, so let's go back some more. Let's start loading some more coal. Not a fun job. <laughs> I can be, I guess, but um, need to do it at some point. Oh, I fell down. Let's get some more coal in there, get our seats. I think our coal is full now. Okay, let's go back to our seats. We are coming back into reverse. Pressure is still good. Connected to our first hopper. And let's keep on going backwards. We'll connect to all the different hoppers that we have. Don't want to go too quick. Don't want to. But we do need to make sure that we get connected to everything properly. There we go. Okay, so that one is connected. I'm hoping the last one is too. We're going to get the brakes off. We're going to, sorry, brakes on, regulator off. We're going to get a reverser off. We're going to go forwards a bit. Get the regulator up. Start moving forward. So our first hopper is loaded. We need to do our second, third, and fourth hopper. So we're just going to slowly go forwards here. It looks like it's the last hopper connected. It is. Okay. So all of our hoppers are properly connected, which is great. We're just going to move forwards a bit here. Not too much speed, because obviously we don't want to overshoot the line here. We've done our first one. Let's get a little more speed on this. 
Remember, our pressure is still really low, so we're not going to get the best speed out of our train at the moment. But that, I think, it's probably good. So, slowing ourselves down. But th this is actually perfect just for what we're doing right now, just moving things into place. Okay, so we're nearly there. And I think while we're load while we're waiting and we while we actually load the last upper, we can actually maybe put some more fluid or some more water into our tender at the back. That could be a cool cool thing to do. Let's go forwards ever so slightly again. Make sure we hit that last one perfectly fine. Almost. Almost there. Let's get the brakes on. Brakes will take a little bit of time to react, so that's cool. I didn't have a remote controller with me today, so I can't remote do this, but that could be a cool way of doing it. Okay, so that one's now loading, which is perfect. We're going to wait for that one to load. Look at that. I told you we could do this like a year ago in Stormax. I wouldn't think this would be possible. This is really cool. And all these creations are just running spectacularly. They're absolutely amazing. Haven't had any issues. I think the locomotive is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get used to it, it's perfectly fine. Cool. The only thing I would like to see is, I, th I don't know if the crater has it or not, but some way of reading how much coal we have inside here. You can see it is going up, so it's almost full now. I think. How much coal does this one have? Let's go and check. What I'm doing, by the way, to do this is just page up. Oh, okay, so this has got 602, which is almost, which is about fill. So, we can do that. Maybe there's a dial or something around here that tells us. I didn't see one. That's the only thing I would like to see. And there's these handles here, which you can actually drop. You can actually drop the coal through the chutes. So, if you press that. You can see the coal shoots out there, which is pretty cool. Let me pick up some of this coal. But I don't see any dials or anything to see how much coal we have inside, but that's fine. Maybe it's uh, done via the composite. Okay, so how are we? I think we're still filling up. Let's check. Should be about 600. Oh, we got 200. Still got a while to go, I think. Let's check on this side. Maybe it's got more. Oh, yeah, this one's got 500. Okay, so it must be split in the, yeah, so it's split into two different sections. You got this hopper here and this hopper over here. So we're filling up this one more, which is okay. We're not going to fill them up 100% in any case. Uh, cool, let's get that off. Let's go and move forward a bit. Actually, I'm hoping our pressure's still right. I didn't check that. Oh, release, release. Shoo! That was, that was very good timing. Very, very good timing. Let's actually release a little bit more pressure, I think. Don't know how that... I had that good timing. Let's go forwards a bit. Start using some of this pressure. Cool. So we'll just start sneaking forwards here. Pressure's going down, which is fine. Blued looks like it's good too. Open our regulator a little bit more. Regulator off. That's almost fine. Pressure is still dropping. Let's keep our heat control down low. Brakes on. Jump out again. And let's do the next one. Okay, so that looks like it's lined up nice and easy. Cool. So that is now going and loading. Great. Let's go back to our locomotive. Keep an eye on our pressure again. Okay, so it is dropping, which is fine. Now what we could do, considering we are right next to the water tower, we could actually load up some more fluid, but I think we're full. So we're actually full, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Everything's good, power's good, steam, we haven't got any steam going through at the moment. Everything's good, we're obviously dropping pressure because we're dropping temperature. So that's just something to keep in mind. Cool. How are we? Let's go and check on this one. We still got one more. So guys, I'm going to finish loading up these two more uh, hoppers here. And I'll meet you guys back once that's done. All right, so we're just finishing up loading the last hopper. I'm actually going to turn all of this off now. And we can stop loading the hoppers. Uh, because they are more or less full and ready to go. And check on our locomotive. See if we need to um, refuel our water. 
I think we're actually fine to be honest. Yeah, we got 175. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna get some pressure in our system. So we're gonna heat all the way up, get the boiler temp up, get some pressure going, uh, see how much more fluid there is. And then once we have enough pressure, we'll actually start moving forwards uh, because that way we'll see how much fluid we're going to use to get our pressure back up to where it should be. So you can see the temperature is going up really quickly, which is great. Once it gets to 100, obviously we'll then start producing some steam, which will produce more pressure in our system. Now we do want to keep an eye on our heat control, so we're going to drop this down to about 0.5. Okay, let's maybe get a little more. Don't want to go too low. Okay, fluid's good, pressure is building. Perfect, let's get this down a bit. Good pressure is building. Let's actually start going forward a bit. It looks like we've got more than enough fluid in our system, which is great. So we're going to get the regulator completely off or on at one. Pressure is building. We should start moving forwards in a few minutes once I get the brakes off. Get the brakes off. And we're away. Now, pressure is building quite a bit. So we're just going to keep an eye on that. Maybe we'll release a little bit. Looks good. We don't want to go over nine, remember? So release some. That looks good. Auto is still good. More release. There we go. Yeah, temperature down maybe. Release more. Release more. Release some more. We are going nicely though. But that's removing. Very cool. Get a little more release off that. Fantastic. Okay, temperature is still good. Everything's still good. Fluid volume, we're still good. That looks more controllable now, which is great. Regulators are full. Brakes are off, and we are moving forwards. Fully loaded coal hauling with a steam locomotive. That looks absolutely incredible. All right, so we're just coming up to the islands now. You can see we've just gone past one of the water tanks. Uh, there's actually a reservoir here and also another one over there. Uh, so if you do need to get more fluid along the way, uh, I think it's really useful. I'd like to see something maybe halfway on the trip up to the Arctic, just in case you are low on your fluid. Just keeping an eye on my pressure also and everything else uh it's just been a balancing game just to get make sure our pressure and everything else stays right but we've managed to maintain our our volume of water everything else seems fine we haven't exploded which is the big thing uh one thing i did notice is that i think this creator is using a clutch somewhere in the system uh, obviously for this and it seems to work the best obviously at 0.7 uh, so I've left at 0 0.7, I'm getting about 20% power out of the engine. I think it's just because we aren't able to get up to good enough speed. Uh, that's why we can't get any more power out of this engine. But if we had less things that we were carrying, I think we could get much, much higher speed out of the locomotive. But man, this is so cool doing this. So you can see we're just coming up past the lighthouse and then we're going to come up into the terminal. All right, so we are just coming up to the terminal right over here and the locomotive is just chugging away. I just really miss the chugging noise. But uh, yeah, we're getting really close to it and hopefully we can start dropping our actual coal. Everything looks good in terms of pressure. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get our regulator down a little bit. Uh, you can hear that means the generator starting to power up a little bit more. We're losing a little bit of power on our engine. Uh, keep it on our pressure and everything else. I uh, need to keep an eye on where those grates are. Okay, so the grates are there. At the moment, the signal's taking us that direction. So we're gonna get our regulator down completely, get our brakes on, because I need to go and switch our tracks. I think we are more or less stopped. Yes, we are. Cool, so I'm just gonna go switch the tracks. As I said, I wish I had a remote with me. I could have just changed this, but I don't. Uh, so there's a manual change, but that's fine. There we go. That's maybe one thing I'd like to see added to this train is some way to switch the tracks while you're in it. Uh, if there is no radio control or remote controller in here. Uh, cool. Okay, so pressure's good. Let's get our regulator. Brakes off. Regulator will get up quite a bit. Should be good. Yeah, we're moving along nice and easily there. Uh, so we're going to come in there and then we should be able to just offload the coal just over those grates there. So we're actually going to probably get our regulator off now. 
And then we'll just use our brakes to slow ourselves down, I think. Get our temperature control down a bit too. Okay, so that looks almost perfect. And start slowing down in a few seconds here. Cool. Brakes on. Now I think we need to keep an eye on where. Okay, so we're actually dropping off from that side, but that's perfect. Temperature's good. Let's go out now. Go along here, and if I'm correct, we just press this button. Hey, there we go. Let's do the other one. <laughs> Look at that. We're offloading coal. Oh, that's so cool. Of course, if we were in career mode, we'd be getting money for this. Um, so we would be actually earning stuff to do this. But that's ah, really nice. I just want to keep an eye on our pressure and things on our... Yeah, that looks good. Pressure's going down a bit, but that's okay for what we're doing right now. And there we go. We're actually offloading all of our coal. Let's just go and check see how much we got in here. Oh, we got tons. <laughs> you can actually see. Oh, that looks so cool. We just need more of these grates going like all the way along here so we could offload all of these hoppers at the same time. That is really cool. Really, really nice. Cool. Well, guys, I think that's probably a great place to end this video off with. I really enjoyed it. I've loved playing with anything to do with these emissions and coal and environmental mods and things like that. And all these creations have worked absolutely amazingly uh, and look gorgeous. Absolutely do. So, guys, uh, yeah, we're going to end over there. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. If you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you have subscribed to the channel. And, of course, if you want to get notified as soon as the videos get released, make sure you click the little bell icon. Uh, and for the next video, guys, let me know in the comments what you think and what we should be doing in the next mission and the next video here in game. But until then, we will see you in the next one.